The pressure was on all day in Washington to reach a debt ceiling agreement before the financial markets open in Asia. After a Republican deadline for reaching a deal came and went late this afternoon, President Obama invited the two top congressional Democrats, but no Republicans, to a White House meeting. Congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes has the latest. With time running out, House Speaker John Boehner said if he could not reach an agreement with Democrats by tonight, Republicans would roll out their own plan. I would prefer to have a bipartisan approach to solve this problem. If that's not possible, I and my Republican colleagues in the House are prepared to move on our own. Boehner says a Republican bill would likely involve two steps. First, a short-term extension of the debt ceiling, accompanied by a package of spending cuts. And then another extension in six months or so, after Congress can identify more cuts. On Face the Nation, Arizona Senator John Kyle said that would satisfy the Republican aim of offsetting any increase in the debt ceiling with equal or greater cuts in spending. If we can reduce spending by a trillion dollars, then we extend the debt ceiling a trillion dollars worth, and that would take it at least through the end of this year. But the president warned on Friday he would veto that approach. Mr. Obama has called for a one-time $2.4 trillion increase in the debt ceiling. We have to extend this debt ceiling through the next election into 2013. Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner argued today that anything less would inject too much uncertainty into a weak economy. We can't adopt an approach that leaves the threat of default hanging over the country for another six months or so. That would be irres deeply irresponsible to do. Both sides blame the other for dragging the economy to the brink over, of all things, raising the debt ceiling, a typically uneventful affair Congress has successfully carried out more than 70 times. I would just say to Speaker Boehner, the president negotiated directly with you in good faith twice, and you walked away from it. At some point, the speaker has to accept a responsibility beyond his caucus to this nation. Democratic sources tell us tonight that the two sides have reached an impasse and that Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid is now preparing his own plan. Nora. Nancy, tonight the president met with the Democratic leaders, but not the Republicans. What does that say about the chances for a deal? Well, Nora, it probably means that any hopes that the president and the speaker were reuniting and sitting down to talk again after the speaker left those talks on Friday are probably dashed. And in fact, the speaker confirmed that this evening in a conference call with his fellow House Republicans. He said very plainly that the path forward does not involve an agreement between him and the president. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nancy, thank you.